Okay, hello and welcome back to another video from Bison Tech. I hope everyone is okay on these difficult times. Today's video is gonna be about 3D rendering. Here in front of me on the screen, we're gonna be doing today like a live stream. So this is a computer, it's a Bison uh, CX9000. It's a computer that we have for uh, with eight GPUs. And since now the new architecture from Nvidia, the Ampere architecture came up, uh, we want to be tested with the best that we can get. So the best video card we can have right now is the RTX 3090. And we're gonna be testing how this video card perform on 3D rendering. We're gonna be using this server that have a, a dual Xeon 8260 uh, CPU. Each of these CPUs costs around $2,000, $2,000, uh, $2,300. And we're gonna be comparing these CPUs with GPUs. Now we have eight GPUs on this machine and we're gonna be running a few tests like Octane uh, Benchmark and Blender with different uh, models like the BMW, the very popular one. We also be using the Pavilion uh, and the new one. So we're gonna be comparing how the performance on tree rendering using CPU. So we're gonna max out all the cores and we're gonna max out as well all the GPUs. So I was saying, um, so like I was saying, I'm gonna show you now uh, the specs of the machine. So we're gonna go for instance here. We got, a, I have opened right now NVIDIA SMI. As you can see, we got eight 3090s. All these video cards are running at 350 watts. What usually happens when you do uh, for long period of time, uh, render times, uh, what happens if the GPU get hot and they start to my throttling. You're gonna see here on the GPU, you never lose performance because this machine in particular is water cool. So we have all the system water cool CPU and GPU at the same time. And it allows you to run 24 seven, any workload, and it will never turn my throttling. So you get it, always get 100% performance. So that's on the GPU side. And if we go to, if we go to the CPU, you can see here we got 96 CPU cores. That's the Intel. And uh, to verify that that's the CPU that we have, I, we're gonna run the CPU test that we have built in onto the Bison OS. And uh, as you can see, as you can see here, we got the, the Xeon 8260, okay? So we have different benchmarks, but we're gonna start with Blender. So Blender, we download the latest version, the 2.91, and we got the Barbershop. As you can see, uh, so as you know, this, this uh, model takes a little bit of time on a normal machine. I'm talking about eight core, 16 threads, or a normal GPU, but we're gonna see how the performance is uh, with the new Ampere architecture. So on the right side here, I'm gonna set up uh, this render to CPU and see how well it's gonna perform. So we're gonna render the image, and in the meantime, we're gonna be checking this, the GPU, as you can see here, is not moving, but the CPU is utilizing all the cores at 100%. So see GPUs, you can see, they're not being utilized, so the wattage is almost in idle, so they're in idle right now. As you can see, the temperatures are amazing, 26, 28 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna minimize that, and we're gonna see the render times. Now on the left side on the top, and of course, we're gonna have the charts uh, for you to visualize better how the performance is. Uh, but here on the left side, we're gonna see how long it's gonna take to render this image on the CPU, okay? So the render finished, and as you can see here, we, it took two minutes and 10 seconds. That was running on a CPU, and remember, this is 98 threads, so 24 core, 24 core, uh, dual Xeon CPUs, the 8260, which usually they sell for $2,000. Now, on the video card side, we're gonna set, uh, close this uh, render, and now we're gonna render exactly the same scene, but with the GPU. So the only thing we're gonna change here is change to GPU compute, and we're gonna go to edit, we're gonna preference, and we're gonna select the, the CUDA devices that we have. So you can see here we got 8390s, and in this case, I'm gonna run it at all eight GPUs, but then after that, I'm gonna run it on four, two, and one GPU, just for you to know uh, how fast it's gonna be, uh, because some of some some of our customers and or users they don't utilize, they don't have the money. We understand to buy eight GPUs, but uh, we're gonna see the performance of one GPU, two GPUs, which is gonna be uh, three thousand dollars a system with two GPUs compared with two uh, Intel Xeon, which each of them cost two thousand dollars, so four thousand against. Uh, 3000 we're gonna see the performance on that so let's run now on the GPU side and then we're gonna render the same image with a GPUs we're gonna let it load and as you can see right now this is crazy fast 
So I'm not gonna even count here. Let me see if I can open the NVIDIA SMI. Don't even let me to open now, but you can see here that we're running at 100%. It was so fast that I couldn't open. Uh, we're gonna see that better on four GPUs. But anyway, the most important part here is the performance. So you can see we get 12 seconds compared with almost two minutes on the CPU, okay? But we understand that normally most of our users, they're not gonna have uh, an AGPU machine because this is a server. You may have a workstation like for example the CX or the X5000 which is a computer that comes with four GPUs. Uh, water cool. We always say water cool is the best solution, the best way to go because you want to have the, mo the most performance on your GPU if you want to have them running 24 seven. Now these GPUs, uh, they get hot because the TDP is so high compared with the last generation, but the performance go uh, pair to that uh, wattage. So we're talking about 350 watts, but the performance is also two times better than the last generation. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna see that. Let's close this image. And now we're gonna run the same test, but this time with four GPUs. Okay, so that will be like a workstation computer. You can have, you can pair these four GPUs, for example, with the Threadripper 3960, which is more than enough for 24 cores. And when these four GPUs are gonna give you an incredible performance. Okay, so we select that and then we're gonna run it again. So we render the image. Let's see if we can check the temperatures on the GPUs. And as you can see here, they're running at 350 watts, so four of them. Okay, this time it took 20 seconds. 20 seconds for GPU. Sometimes depend on the model that you're running. If a tree render file uh, is huge and you need uh, to uh, utilize more GPUs, that's when you're gonna see the actual performance. Some render files with two GPUs are gonna be fine and you max out the, the, max, the, the best you can do on, the, on those GPUs. But if your file is so big that you need uh, better performance than two GPUs and they're taking too much time, uh, you just add two more GPUs and you, the more GPUs you add, the faster will be your render time. Something that you cannot do on the CPU side. You have the two, two dual Xeon, for example, on the server, but on the normal computer, you have only one CPU. And if you want to increase that, it gets complicated because you cannot add uh, more than one CPU to a machine. Okay, so now that we run with four GPUs, we're gonna now run it for two GPUs. And then let's just select two GPUs. And two GPUs, keep in mind that two GPUs will be around $3,000, uh, $4,000 cost of the GPUs just itself, compared with two, 4,000 something on two dual Xeons, okay? And we're gonna see the difference in performance. So we click on that, and then now we render. Okay, and this time I promise so I'm gonna check for the NVIDIA SMI. So there we go. We got NVIDIA SMIs, you can see here, uh, you can see the GPU is being utilized at maximum performance. And uh, the utilization is right now of like four gigs on one and 2.6 gigs uh, on the other one. Depend on the model, depends on the model that you have, uh, it's gonna utilize more uh, gigabyte on the GPU. And the good thing with the 3090 is that they come with 24 gigs uh, compared for example, the 3080, which is similar performance, but you get only 10 gigs. So if your model is gonna use more than 10 gigs, you may have a problem with 3080. That's, all, that's why we always recommend to go with the 3090 if you're trying to best uh, to get the best GPU possible. All right, so that's finished already. And with two GPUs, we get 38 seconds, okay? At the end of the video, remember, you're gonna have all the charts. We just wanna do a streaming so you can see that we're working with the computer in real time. And then we're gonna have all the charts at the end so you can compare different performance. Uh, so now the final test will be running the same test, but for one GPU. So you can see here, it's utilizing all the GPU power. Temperatures is crazy. They're going up to 51, 51, 56 maximum, and that's under load. Uh, that's normal temperature that people get on the on the idle computers workstation that they have. In our case, that we use water cool and optimized performance that we built in into our computers, you can get up to 51 Celsius when running 24/7, which is just out of this world. It's crazy. All right, so now it's getting a little bit slow. Of course, we're only using one GPU, but remember, once again, this is one GPU that usually costs $1,800 compared with $4,000 on two dual Xeons, okay? And there you go. We finish in one minute and 16 seconds. Still better than two dual Xeon. It's gonna be better than a Thread Reaper, for example, with a 64 cores, 128 threads. So 13090, it's better than uh, one of those C uh, CPUs. And the good thing 
is gonna be the same. GPUs you can always scale, you can add more GPUs. On a CPU system, you cannot add uh, more CPUs. So that's the scene we have for today. This is running on a Ubuntu 2004. It's a build that we have uh, for deep learning. It comes with everything included, CUDA and CUDDN support everything um, for NVIDIA GPUs. So now I'm gonna show you all, all the charts. You can see the same performance we did here, the same um, chart, but I'm not gonna be boring you uh, just going one, runs and runs on different uh, models that I have, but I have BMW. I got different auto models for the uh, 3D rendering, and I'm gonna be uploading that data to the chart so you can compare how different, uh, how, how the GPU perform compared with the CPU, because in different scenes, you will get better, even better performance. If you have any specification that you want us to run, leave your comment below so we, we can run those benchmarks and keep tuned for the next videos. So we're gonna be testing 3090s GPUs against 3080s and the last generation 2080s TIs and Titan. So you can see the performance and if it's worth it for you to upgrade to this new generation. Okay, thank you for watching and I see you on the next video.